And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for September 24th. So the uh, tropics looking a little bit quieter than they have done recently. Uh, Lowell and Dolphin, both tropical storms active on either side of the Pacific. Not very often that we've been saying that, by the way. The remnants of Teddy and Beta continue uh, in the Atlantic, the western part of the ocean. Uh, Day 116 of Atlantic hurricane season. The remnants of Paulette still going as well, not far from Madeira. And we've marked two areas of low chances of development in the next five days. 20% on either of them at opposite sides of the ocean there. You can see them uh, both moving west or northwest. There's Lowell uh, on its own in the eastern Pacific. Uh, No areas of interest to mark at this point on day 133 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season. It's been a very drab year, really, for this basin. And in the Western Pacific, even worse. Uh, But Dolphin is there right now, passing uh, Eastern Japan right now. And uh, two areas of interest as well that could develop in the next five days. Uh, It does appear that we'll have more substantial developments, uh, at least beyond that period. And in the uh, North Indian Ocean and elsewhere around the world, there's no systems active right now. All quiet in this area, but the North Indian Ocean might be revving up again uh, because we're getting climatologically closer to that uh, second peak. The North Atlantic looking like this then. You can see the satellite imagery. Uh, Still that trail of clouds extending all the way down to the Dominican Republic. That's still coming from Teddy. Um, a remarkable cloud coverage from Teddy, which extends over 3,000 miles north to south, and weather near the Canary Islands there associated with Paulette. And this is what's left of Beta there as well, still delivering some rainfall over Texas and Louisiana. It's centered over western Louisiana. And the eastern Pacific, there's Lowell over there on the left-hand side, northwest side of the screen. Um, The only thing going on, it's not looking so great actually. Uh, Partially exposed circulation, uh, estimated wind speeds right now, about 50 miles per hour. The western Pacific, you can see dolphins starting to clear the screen. And you can see actually it's become rather exposed. I imagine that's due to very high wind shear as it's entering those higher latitudes and it certainly has that appearance about it. Um, And elsewhere you've got one or two little bubbling up of cloud, especially in the Philippine Sea. That could be a little area of interest that might develop later on down the line. We'll see what happens. The South Pacific looks like this, very quiet here at this point. Um, It's the very low ebb before the season starts up again in a couple of months and the north indian ocean in this case is what we're looking at right now and again you can see that monsoonal pattern over the andaman sea Uh, india itself especially southern india remaining fairly dry today sea surface temperatures in the eastern pacific generally rather warm along the coast of mexico 30 degrees plus but generally much cooler as you head further out to sea the la nina effect still very strong and increasing actually in the Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic then, uh, a significant cool trail to the southeast of Bermuda, we know why, the recent storms there, Um, and out to sea, much cooler sea surface temperatures, but in the areas that matter really, uh, that's the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea and the Southern Gulf, still very warm waters of 30 degrees or more, uh, very common. The Indian Ocean, the Bay of Bengal is much warmer than the Arabian Sea, 30 degrees plus over there as well off the coast of Bangladesh. And in the Western Pacific, uh, still very warm temperatures because there's been so little activity here still in the Western Pacific. I think it's about 50 days behind schedule in terms of accumulated cyclone energy at least. Um, But temperatures there really supporting anything that ends up in the Philippine Sea over 30 degrees Celsius and maybe we'll see some late season activity. Sea surface temperature anomalies, you can really see the effect of the La Nina there. Uh, The Western Pacific though above average, the Atlantic, that cool uh, pool behind those recent hurricanes, very clear on that imagery in the uh, Central Atlantic and in the Northern Gulf, but the rest of the Atlantic still remains very warm. Well, on September 24th, 2005, Hurricane Rito was making landfall as a category three. There was also many other storms active that day, the remnants of Philippe in the Atlantic, Kenneth, Norma 
and Jova in the Eastern Pacific, as well as Typhoons Damre and Sayola. Sayola a Category 3 at this point as well, so Rita wasn't, wasn't the only one at this point in time on September 24, 2005. Also a mention to 1958 where Typhoon Ida was peaking with a pressure in the 870s. Well, uh, looking at the Atlantic naming list, which has been exhausted by the way, we're now in the Greek letters. The next name on the list will be Gamma. In the Eastern Pacific, the next name is Marie. In the Central Pacific, we're still waiting, as we have been all year now, for Hone, which still may or may not form. The Western Pacific Ocean, we're up to Kajira now, the next name on the list, followed by Chanhom. And the next name in the North Indian Ocean, we're still waiting for Gati. And in the Southern Hemisphere, we've still not seen any activity on this side of the year yet. Uh, the next name in the Australian region is Imogen. The first name on the Southwest Indian Ocean list this season will be Alicia. And in Fiji, in the South Pacific, Yolanda's next up on the list. <laughs> 